Alright, so what's up y'all? So today's old school boxing lesson is going to go ahead and come from a 1979 Swedish boxing book. Now what I liked about this book is everything's based off of this square and you finding your guard and your movements from inside the square. Now we're going to go ahead and cover today are two evasive movements. Basically how to get away from the jab and how to step to the side with a right. Now what I also like about these is one, you can train them solo, two, you can train them with a partner, and three, you can actually work this with some counter work by adding a left and a right hook. So right here we go. So first things first, right? So from this square position here, what we're gonna do is take our left foot and just bring it up to one corner. We're gonna go ahead and keep our right foot in this corner slightly on the ball of our foot. Again, you always wanna have balance, so bend your legs. Go ahead and bring our hands up. Now this is very, very simple, right? So if we were here and somebody was throwing a straight right this way, what I'm gonna do is take my left leg and more on a pivot, and I'm gonna go ahead and take it to the left, and at the same time, I'm gonna bring my right leg and follow. So watch my feet, right? So as I go here, I'm gonna go slow, I'm going to step. And as you see, as I'm stepping, I'm turning, so anything that he's throwing, I'm gonna go ahead, I got a good guard that can roll off of here, and then from this position here, easily just step back. Now again, this puts you in a position to go ahead and strike in here, or whatever it is that you want to work with. But again, in slow motion, and we're here. He throws that right, it's just turning, and then, and you can already see from that movement how you're gonna get that left hook in. And even if you're coming here, you're working that shift, getting right back into your stance. And now the exact same movement if somebody was throwing a jab. Now, you wanna start you know, in this more static position, but eventually you can kind of move your head a little bit as you're slipping and then step again, step. And now my left foot, I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of bring it right back. And again, that puts me in another position to where I can attack him. So as you can see, it's a great little drill to work on just from this square position. Just putting a piece of tape here and working on moving. And again, working on moving. Now eventually, if you had a partner, obviously, you can stand here, have that dude throw right, get out of the way again, and then you would have him throw his jab, and again, you would step and move. Now if you don't have a partner, you can do what I do, right? So just hang, hang this band here, and again, get in position, get on the back side of it, hands up, and again, taking it slow, but now I'm gonna add a hook as I step back, step back in, and again, as I'm stepping here, I'm gonna add that hook, and then again, step to the side, and then come in. So as you can see, as you hear, it's just that quick, step with that left hook and again if he's coming with that jab it's just move and then go but anyways just a quick drill well it's something that i'm working on today and i figured hey i'll share with you what i was doing have a nice day